Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Yacht Club of Hilton Head Island announces their Regatta Weekend 2015 presented by Harbor Town in the Sea Pines Resort, Saturday and Sunday, October 17th and 18th. Here to share more, Michael Rowe, Commodore, and Jim Landis, Regatta Chairman. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Glad to have you. So, um, sailing on Hilton Head, pretty popular, huh? We think it's pretty popular. Sailing actually, actually has been growing on Hilton Head ever since the early 70s as Hilton Head began to develop. And a large number of people got organized in, early, in the early 70s and started eventually our yacht club. And so um, as far as the regatta goes, if spectators, um, what, what can they expect to see with the races? Very good question. It's interesting. I've been watching and participating in regattas for a number of years. And the most important thing that you can see is the boats on the water, big boats, from 20 feet and up, it's our one big boat regatta a year, the two, the, two, the two regattas on the two days, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. And they can see from the docks in, in Harbor Town, even better from the top of the lighthouse, right. all of the boats out on the water, usually beginning and starting their races between the docks in Harbor Town and Hague Point, which is almost directly across from the docks. And there is, I think I read correctly, there's no fee associated with the event. Absolutely not. You're just looking for people to come down and really, um, come down to Harbor Town and really enjoy the, the, you know, the sailing. It's one more attraction in Harbor Town to enjoy the weekend, something to look at while you're there, right. in addition to the normal visiting the shops and visiting the areas around Harbor Town. There's the usual fee to enter Harbor Town. You sure. Or to enter Sea Pines itself, but once you're in, those fees are often, sometimes, right. reimbursed by merchants or people you visit there. You may want to mention also, Jim, about the auxiliary, uh, the lifeguard auxiliary on Saturday. That's right. On Saturday at 10 a.m., the, the, the regatta begins at 10 a.m. on both days. Okay. The sailing actually starts at noon on Saturday. Uh, okay. And at 10 a.m. on Sunday, so we finish earlier Sunday mm -hmm. afternoon. And awards are awarded on Sunday afternoon, correct? Yes, we have a big trophy presentation. The large trophies are presented uh, on Sunday afternoon around 5, 5.30 under the Liberty Oak. But to start the whole event off on, on, on Saturday, Saturday. At 10 a.m., we have the, the Coast Guard comes and presents Hilo rest, search and rescue operations with a target boat in the water right off the docks of Harbor Town, which they do in, the, in Calabogie Sound or mm -hmm. Port Royal Sound almost all year round on a weekly or biweekly basis. But this time, you can really see them up front and personal, actually see the guys doing the job. Yeah, that's cool. And so tell us a little bit more about the Yacht Club of Hilton Head Island for people who are not familiar with it. Mike. Well, the Yacht Club of Hilton Head is the oldest yacht club on the island. Actually, it was formed under the Liberty Oak, I believe it was 1971, mm -hmm. uh, well before my time here on Hilton Head. Uh, it's the only uh, yacht club on the Hilton Head that is outside of a gated community, and our membership is open. And it is an open membership. Yes. So what kind of things does the club do? Well, besides uh, our f normal Friday night dinners, mm -hmm. we also have uh, boat trips that we plan from the Yacht Club um, and other activities at the Yacht Club itself. Right. So uh, as far as people that might want to engage in the Yacht Club, what do they need to know? Do they need to have a boat? Do they need to have boating knowledge? I mean, you know, people probably wonder those, wonder that. <laughs> Ni neither is necessary. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all of our members are very generous with their boats. As a matter of fact, I came uh, to the Yacht Club only about three or four years ago and uh, learned sailing on Jim's boat. So our, our members are very generous with their boats. All of our boat trips are planned with our members being the captains and crew of those boats. And uh, you said it is open, it's just an open um, open invitation as far yes. as uh, joining the membership or, yes. or joining the club. It's open to the public. Yes, and we have both out-of-state members as well as residential members. Interesting. So, uh, Jim, just a few more things about the regatta. So, how many boats in, in, in do you think that you'll have in the within the races? Over the years, it's varied a lot. Right. Right now, we're expecting probably around 20 boats to be racing. Wow. Probably five to ten large boats. Right. Plus the Harbor 20 fleet, which comes from the South Carolina Yacht Club. And we also have a fleet of uh, Flying Scots in our club, which will be racing as well. So, it could be as many as 20, 25 boats. We're never really sure. All the signups continue until actually race day. Okay. But we do expect sailors from Savannah as well as the Charleston area who participate with us in these races. Well, it sounds like a really great fun day. So people just need to come down, enjoy Harbor Town, enjoy the races, and uh, obviously, if they're interested, they can talk to you about the yacht club. 
I should point, yes, we'll have a club representative on the docks at Arbor Town to explain the event as well as to talk about our club. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Certainly. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.